If you're wondering what Octopus Cozy is, then this is the video for you. Today, we're going to be discussing what the hell Octopus Cozy is, how it works, what it does, if it's for battery owners, solar owners, or just if you have a heat pump. Heat pump customers that can shift their heat pump demand away from the peak hours. Now, we'll discuss exactly how you may or may not do this a little bit further on in the video. However, you may be wondering if you have an EV battery storage, if you can use Octopus Cozy for yourself? Well, the answer is, unless you've got a heat pump, sadly, no. We're gonna look at how this deal would be cheaper for every single individual customer. Now, first, we'll start off with a nice and easy one, who this deal was designed for. Heat pump only customers. You've got no solar, you've got no battery storage, you've got no EV, well, this deal is pretty much a no-brainer. It should be cheaper than your variable tariff across the whole year, because you're running a heat pump, and it should save you quite a bit of money. Now, if you're thinking of signing up to Octopus Energy and Octopus Cozy, then check out evnick.com forward slash energy. There's a link there to Octopus Referral. You split £100 with me. And the list there for Octopus Cozy is how to put your postcode in and get the exact rates for your area. Now, in this video, I'm going to be discussing the rates just for my area. So in my area, the day rate is as follows. It's 33.3p. The cozy rate is 20p a kilowatt hour. And then finally, you've got the peak rate, which is 53.33p. Now, the times for cozy is 4am till 7am. And then you, again, you get another cozy rate from 1pm to 4pm. The peak is 4pm to 7pm. And the day rate covers any other time in the day that I've not already mentioned. This means that if you have a heat pump and you can cycle the heat pump down from 4 p.m. till for three hours, you basically will save a bucket load. Now, there's a couple of things to know about heat pumps and it's way more advanced than I want to go into, but they are basically more efficient the longer you keep them running. But there is certain heat pumps that allow you to cycle down the compressor. In other words, not produce as much heat, run the water as hot, and you could cycle that in the system and there is various control systems you can get that can do that. They can cycle down the power use for those three hours during high cost electricity and then cycle them back up later on. Now, even if you run your heat pump 24 seven, the average rate that Octopus Cozy offers means that you'll be pretty much considerably lower than what the energy price cap is from the government, which is currently for my area about 35p. Now, if you have an EV and a heat pump, this is where it gets a little bit more complex because if you have an EV, you've likely looked at Octopus Go, or you maybe have looked at Intelligent. Now, there is going to be separate videos on this channel about those two tariffs coming very, very shortly. So if you haven't already, click subscribe, click the notification bell, and we'll go into them in full detail very soon. However, the off-peak for Go and uh, Intelligent uh, is only a short amount of hours. Now, on Go, it's only four hours, and Intelligent, it's about six hours at the cheaper 10 and 12p rates. However, the peak rate is 40p. So if you're a very, very, very low mileage EV user, you're likely gonna be better on Cozy. If you are mid mileage or high mileage, then you might be better on Go or Intelligent. Now, the only way to know this is to do your sums. Work out what your annual mileage is for your EV and how many kilowatts it uses, and then find out how many kilowatt hours your heat pump uses over the year, and whichever one's higher, it will decide if you're going for cozy or intelligent because the average will be brought down significantly by the higher user of the two. And also bear in mind that the average will be brought down significantly more if the EV mileage is higher because of the GOES cost. So there is some spreadsheets over at evnick.com forward slash energy. So if you have battery storage and a heat pump or even also have solar, well, you're likely looked at the new Flux deal from Octopus. Now the Flux deal from Octopus, again, will have a separate video on it, probably about a week or two after this one goes out, and that will be detailing exactly how that will go. However, if you are looking at this and cozy, then it's really, again, a matter of doing your sums. Now, quick sum, my, my, my personal sort of take on this is, if you're exporting a lot of energy, then likely you're gonna be better on flux. However, if you're still importing quite a lot of energy to run the heat pump, then you're likely going to be better on cozy. It's worth noting that I don't know fully if you can go on the Octopus outgoing tariff on cozy, but I will double check, I think you can. 
However, Flux has a much higher export rate than even that. So if you have got battery storage and you can shift a lot of your export to peak, you really need to do your sums. But if you are importing quite a lot of energy still, it's likely that Cozy is the better deal for what you are on. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you check out this video I did at the Octopus Heat Pump Research Centre in their secret location that's not just outside of Slough.